Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and in this video we're going to be looking at the KX3 from Elacraft. A good friend of mine and a very generous friend let me borrow this. Um, when I was at the Visalia DX convention, uh, I spoke with the Elacraft folks and, um, and tested the KX3, and I found that um, there were some slight differences between the K3 and the KX3, particularly in the, uh, the commands to emulate button functions here. Uh, so that led to the creation of that sub-receiver type um, that we saw when looking at in pigtail here. Uh, if I zoom in, you can see that now um, there's different radio types listed. So we have the KX3, K3, K2. If I click on Yesu, 817, 857, and 897. So this will be populated as, as work is done to test radios. Uh, but we're going to be looking at the KX3 right now. So the KX3 is going to be connected um, through the accessory port here, accessory one, and this is the cable from Elecraft. Uh, the thing to keep in mind though, it has to be, in order to connect to the pigtail, it has to be the, the DB9 version of the cable. The USB version wouldn't work in this situation. So I'm going to connect that to this pigtail here. It's already, um, already connected, the iPad's on the same wireless network here. And we're going to turn on the KX3. This is running off battery power. And uh, I'm powering the pigtail through that uh, external power since I, I run it for several hours at a time. So let's go back here and add a contact. So you can see CW, or excuse me, mode and frequency populated there. Um, let me get them both in the screen. And if I spin the VFO knob on the KX3, looking up at the iPad, you can see the, the frequency change. If I hit the mode button down here and go to AM, it, it changed up there. Uh, if I hit the pigtail button down here, this is a, a customized UI for the KX3. Um, I took out a couple things down here that were, were menu settings that were actual buttons on the K3. Uh, so just like the other videos, all of these buttons here will manipulate the radio. Like if I hold down the plus key here, you can see the uh, the frequency starts accelerating down on the KX3. And that was 10 hertz increments. If I set it too fast, then it'll do kilohertz. And minus does what you would expect. Uh, changing around modes, I just hit the LSB button, so it, it changed to LSB there as well as on the radio if you can see it over here on the right if I hit USB the radio is on USB or USB up top uh, going around between bands uh, we can set the frequency here if we want to go to 1 megahertz Let me pause it for a second to plug in a dummy load. So this is the Elecraft kit dummy load. I got these um, for conventions and demonstrations where you can actually key the radio. Uh, so sending CW, if I change it to mode CW here and hit send, I have the speed turned up pretty high right now so we can change that down to say 22 and uh, you might have seen there on the radio whenever I set the speed it indicates it right there so we'll send that uh, the VFO memories are set within the app itself so the first one here goes to 30 meters CW second one is 20 meters sideband 17 meters CW and 80 meters AM um, transmit here, transmit to be decided, so let's go elsewhere. Turn that on and off, and uh, actually you couldn't see that down here. When I hit the transmit button, just turn it on and off. Now you saw the red light turn on for TX there. Uh, ATU tune, I have uh, no ATU in this KX3. The tune button, 
works as well. Spot attenuator. Um, looking at the, you see the uh, the indicator right here. When I turn that on and off, it goes on and off. And as well as uh, this indicator here, goes from green to red after a second or so to tell you from the iPad without looking at the radio whether it's turned on or off. Uh, preamp is the same. NB is the same. These will both go green if preamp's on. And NR says TBD on the screen, so that's going to stay red for the time being. Um, switching between the two VFOs, A and B. And all the while, um, switching between A and B, uh, you can see the frequency change. Oh, you can't see this frequency change. You can see the frequency change up here as well, going between the two VFOs. And then antenna, um, this was put in there for the K3, and there's a little indicator down here at the bottom. If you can see that one right there, that'll switch to a two if you're on the second antenna. And uh, I put that in here because there is a button on the KX3 to switch antennas. Um, but for now, it's going to stay on antenna one. If I hit that, it says not applicable on the, uh, on the radio display. Uh, M1 through... M4, these are the um, the recorded messages you can put into the KX3. Um, I only have four on here, but there, there do appear to be six. And uh, it's a matter of hitting the message button then the corresponding key down at the bottom. Uh, if you're not in CW mode, it's not going to do anything um, in the iPad. So if I hit M1 here, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so let's change it over to CW. And nothing's recorded in the radio right now, so... Uh, just immediately says end, and it does that for for all four of these. So that's the pigtail with KX3. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you.